Welcome on board the Pogo 30, one of the most exciting launches of the year. We're here in beautiful Brittany off Benaday and we're just going to hoist the kite now and see if she flies. The answer is yes, she does. But the first thing you notice is not the speed, but the silence as she skims above the water. So we have 14 knots of breeze. True, so not much apparent. We're doing just over eight knots and uh, well, as we hit eight knots, if you look at the wake, she should just start to separate as we start to plane. There we go. The joys of keeping a boat to under three tons. <laughs> this is a 30 foot cruising boat and we're just planing away at eight to nine knots in a force four flat water. That's nice cruising. Great cruising setup as well, it, whether you're two-handed or, or, or crewed, it's just, you know, we've got a big kite up at the moment, we've got the main sheet uh, and the sheet sort of, I'm sailing to the luff of the, of the kite and it's all very easy, thanks to the stable shape of the boat. Twin rudders provide loads of grip albeit for a very neutral helm in the Pogo's case. Just sitting out here on the side deck, which is the most comfortable position because you've got clear views forward, especially going upwind. Um, lovely foot chocks to brace as well. And um, thanks to the tiller extension, you can sit out here all day and night. And the main fen being this traveler line here because you can depower the main like you would on a, on a multi-hull, thanks to all the beam aft and a long traveler. This is the inboard position which I like just as much because the tiller feels really direct for steering. Um, and if you want to move forward, you've got the extension. So I've got the main sheet, right to hand German main sheet each side, sheet winch here as well. So it's easy to stand up um, and grind for either winch. Um, and also you've got all of the running rigging and halids led, led to banker clutches. So everything I need is just here of having the um, winches on the on the coach roof is something Pogo do with their past models as well but it just makes trimming much easier you can do it from the safety of the cockpit and standing up to put your effort in as well rather than leaning overboard down below you see there's a lot of space for a 30 footer um, the beam aft helps create this but also Pogo have kept it very simple keep weight down no doors um, keep it well it's very French camping especially this one so weekend day sailor type setup you can or add things like a sink in, in the heads or a, a proper cooker in the galley um, but there's this works well um, features I like in particular the, the bucket seat in the uh, around the chart table area so you can sleep there or sit flat thanks to a wedge cushion you get a, a good big saloon area with sleepable berths double berth forward, double berth aft. Um, again, the, the stowage is very simple. People might need to add fabric um, wardrobes and that sort of thing, because it's very spartan as it is. The lifting keel part of the boat is only this part here, the aft part of the table. Um, you have uh, controls for the hydraulic keel here and a little sight tank, a little sighting window just to see the pin in the ram. When tacking up the confines of the river, it was reassuring to have this lift keel option, which quickly reduces draft from 2.5 meters to just over a meter. The Pogo is surprisingly fun to sail upwind. She's a small boat and short tacks nimbly with little need for a winch handle. The 
The Pogo 30 presents a new level of fun for those seeking fast sailing for kicks rather than competition. Her beam provides bags of space below. She doesn't come with the conventional comfort and amenities some cruisers may expect, but I suspect the type of sailor with a Pogo topping their wish list will rarely want to leave the house.